If you've been interested in creating 3D animations, you may find this useful. I've been using some simple but effective 3D animation software, Corel Motion Studio. This isn't the software professional animators use, but it is affordable, the learning curve isn't intimidating, and it is more than adequate for my needs. It may suit your needs as well. Here's how to create a simple animation with Motion Studio. This is the opening desktop. This black screen is the preview window. This is where you will build the project. I'll put a cube on the screen by clicking this object menu and selecting the cube. The cube is now sitting in the center of the preview window. This hand icon is the move tool. Use it to move the object on the X, Y, and Z axes. Left mouse buttons select the X and Y axes. The right mouse button selects the Z axes. Note the X, Y, Z values are displayed here. 000 puts the object back at the center. This is the rotate icon. Again, three axes. This time the mouse can be used to rotate the object around the selected axes. The values indicated here are in degrees. 360 degrees is a full rotation. Now to animate our cube. Make it into a short movie. This area is the timeline. It controls the movements of all objects. The numbers across the top represent frames. This slider selects frames. The number 1 here tells us that the project is at its first frame. This number tells us we have a total number of 100 frames to work with. And this 25 tells us that our animation will play at the rate of 25 frames per second. 100 frames at 25 frames per second gives us a 4 second animation. I'll set the cube's location for the start of the animation. With the slider selecting frame 1, I move the cube to the lower right corner of the preview window. Next, I will move the slider to frame 100, the last frame in our animation. Now, we move the cube to its final location, the upper left corner of the preview window. That sets the parameters for this 4 second animation. Select play and the cube moves. The first play of a complex animation is often slow and jumpy. This is because the action is being rendered. Some very complex math is taking place in the background. We can add some more motion. Make the cube spin. Start by sliding the slider back to frame 1. Select the rotate tool, then click on the cube. This locks its initial position. Next, slide the slider to the last frame, frame 100. Now rotate the cube a couple of times. These rotations will play out as the cube transits the preview screen. Clicking play, we can see the effect. The cube is rotating. Once an animation is completed, it can be exported as a video file and then used in a video project. This is the video of the 4 second demo animation we just completed. This software includes an object lathe tool that allows you to create objects like this. I'll demo that in the next video. This software is available as a 15-day trial. Search Corel Motion Studio 3D. We have more science and technology related videos at our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the videos link.